How to learn a language in a most productive way. There are five tips from me to help you. Hello friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Oli and on this channel I'm talking about traveling, learning languages and life in Finland. In today's video I want to share with you my top five tips uh, how to be more productive when you're learning a language. Number one, find the right time for you to practice a language. At what time of the day do you feel yourself more focused and ready to learn something new? We are all different. Someone is more productive in the morning, someone is more an evening or night person and it's impossible to give one advice that would be suitable for everybody. It also depends on many factors. For example, are you working or studying? Do you have other activities during the day? So it's important to find the right time for yourself. Number two surround yourself with the language we are living in a time when there are endless possibilities to learn a language without actually learning it for example youtube netflix whatever apple tv there are so many possibilities to watch videos or films with subtitles in your target language as a story time not a long time ago i have started to learn italian and i have found an amazing an amazing YouTube channel that is called Italian with Lucrezia and there are so many videos about learning Italian grammar, about actually learning Italian in common, uh, vlogs and they are all in Italian with English subtitles. For me personally it's one of the most um, comfortable way to learn a new language without actually learning it. I mean sitting at the table and doing burn exercises. Of course, there is not enough if you want to speak a language or if you want to read uh, books in a language, but it's a good start. It's a good start to understand how does this language sound and passively gain this knowledge about sentences or words in your target language. Some other good practices are to listen to podcasts while cooking or cleaning the house or doing some lessons on Duolingo drops instead of mindlessly scrolling Instagram feed. But actually, if you like Instagram and if you cannot imagine your life without it, you can make your feed work for you. You need to filter your subscriptions and, for example, add more accounts about learning languages or traveling or about the things that inspire you, the things that you are interested in. So number three, take notes. It's up to you to decide in what form do you want to take notes. I found out that the most efficient way for me to take notes is to actually write by pen and paper. <laughs> but when it comes to learning new words, I don't think that it's the most efficient way for me. And that's why I make sets in Quizlet an app that I like very much and I can recommend to all language learners. Taking notes also help when in some time you want to repeat something or uh, review some words or some sentences and if you have readable and accurate notes uh, it makes this task much easier. Number four, build your language learning routine. When it comes to learning grammar or other serious stuff it's important to be consistent and decide for yourself, for example, Tuesday is a grammar day. On Thursday, I have a lesson with my teacher on Preply or italki. And on Saturday, I just watch films or watch videos on YouTube in my target language with subtitles. It doesn't mean that the schedule will be always the same. You can add new activities in it. You can replace something or remove something from it and so on. When you learn several foreign languages simultaneously, my advice is to choose different days for different languages. But of course, if you think that it's more convenient for you to combine it, then it's up to you to decide you are absolutely free to do so. When it comes to learning several foreign languages simultaneously, I think that it's very important to decide what is your top priority language and what are languages on learning which you spend less time and energy. So my advice number five is be kind to yourself. A little bit a strange advice on this topic, but I want to explain. In my opinion, productivity should not be toxic. 
If you're not succeeding in following your schedule today, it's not a big deal because tomorrow will be another day to start again. And I think it's important to find this balance between healthy perseverance and time for rest. It's not need to blame yourself that you were not so productive today because actually it will not make you more productive in the future. We have to charge our batteries, we have to rest in order to be more productive. So that's all my tips for today. Please write uh, down below in the comments what makes you more productive in learning languages. It will be very interesting for me to know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to support this channel, you can do it by subscribing and pushing the like button. I wish you a good day, great weekends and see you next week in a new video.